from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for June 3rd, 2016. In today's video, I'm going to do a general overview of each of the U.S. currency pairs in anticipation of today's news. At 8.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time today, we do have significant news out of the U.S. Jobs and earnings numbers out of the U.S. could produce significant volatility in the market and unexpected movement if you're not paying attention to what's happening with the news. So what I want to do is talk about each of the currency pairs and the potential impact of news, whether it's positive or negative, on the market. So let's jump right into it here on the USD CHF. We have been studying the uptrend along this blue trend line, how it broke out above the falling trend channel, the red trend lines here. And over the past several days, we have been in stuck inside this black box period of congestion. Well, if the pattern of the trend continues, which again is an uptrend pattern, we, we climbed off the bottom, blue box congestion broke out higher, black box congestion. If the pattern of the trend continues and we get positive U.S. news, we'll likely look for the breakout higher above 99.35 and a continuation towards the parity level 1.0. However, if we get negative news, it's significantly negative, we could look for a turnaround. The market pushes back underneath 98.65 and we look for it to go lower back down in towards the 9800 level. So this black box right here is really going to be significant as far as today's news. It needs to break out of there before we have a clear uh, sense of direction, positive or negative. We know what we would expect. We take it down to the four hour time frame. Doesn't really change uh, the analysis any it just gives us a little bit more of a, a zoomed in view here again the purple shaded area bottom of the black box 9885 9865 is your current support zone and that's not too hard to see over the past few days here on the chart and then of course the green zone the resistance at the top of the congestion zone 9910 to 9935 a breakout there will likely send it higher until we get the news uh, I don't think we want to look for any new opportunities here for the US franc let's take a look at the euro dollar this trade I actually or this currency pair I've actually been in a trade since uh, for the past couple of days selling the top of the congestion zone, the pink shaded area between 111.75 and 112 we've seen profit all the way now down into the 11140 level so significant profit protect profit if you have it close some profit move your stop loss into profit I've already done that here on this currency pair if it continues to go down positive US data on the non-farm payrolls and earnings will likely look for this to go back down towards 111 a breakdown underneath 111 we could even see some further movement lower again the pattern of the trend is down we've seen that over the past few weeks and that's what we want to follow here currently for the euro euro dollar now on the opposite side resistance is seen 111.75 112 a breakout above that if it's negative data neg significantly negative news we could see the break back above 112 and the turn higher for the euro dollar so right now watching the news to see if it's positive or negative positive sends the euro dollar lower negative nfp data sends this back up again challenging the 112 level for the euro dollar today Next, moving over to the GBP USD, Great British Pound versus the US dollar. We've been studying the range that we have found here within the trend pattern. The two black boxes you see here on the chart show us the, the wide ranges that uh, have been part of the pattern of the trend. Probably most important for the day today is our support zone, the blue shaded area at the bottom of the second black box, which sits between 14400 and 14355. That is your support zone right now. And we can see that over the past three days the market has held just above the 144 level let's zoom it in a little bit here on the daily and so there it is right there blue zone you can see that 144 holding a support for the past three days as long as it sits above there there's potential for reversal for this to go back up if it breaks underneath this blue shaded area and we'll call it 143.55 or 143.60 or so then we'll look for this to go lower Positive news out of the U.S. affects this currency pair in uh, a fashion that sends it lower. We would expect a breakout underneath 144 and potentially a turn back down towards the 142.60 level as our next potential support, maybe just above that into the 4300 level. If it's negative news, if we get negative uh, sentiment on the news, we look for this to go back up, challenging back to the next resistance zone, 144.80 uh, to 145.15 is the orange shaded area you see on the chart. So main area of interest is that blue zone, 144 down to 43.55. 
Below it, we look for the market to go lower, and that's positive U.S. data. Above it, negative U.S. data sends us back up towards the 145 level for the pound dollar today. Let's take a look at the U.S. CAD. This one's been in a tight range, a period of congestion, nothing really significant happening over the past four days for the U.S. CAD. We haven't real seen real significant moves in oil. Oil has also been in congestion. We do have, interesting enough, Canadian data trade balance at 8.30 at the same time as our NFP data comes out today. So that will be, be very interesting to watch here on the U.S. CAD. Zooming in a couple of times, the pattern of the trend currently, I would still call it a bullish pattern along the blue trend line. But one, two, three, four, maybe even five days have been stuck right around the 3065 to 3080 level that purple shaded area you see here resistance is 3130 3165 a break above that 3165 level we look for it to go higher and that would be of course on positive US news if it's very positive we look for it to break out above here and go higher if it's negative data we likely look for the breakdown of 3065 and the turn back down towards the 1.3000 level and of course a break underneath 1.3000 we could be again the next phase of the downtrend for the US CAD today. Next, moving over to the US yen. Of course, this one's a little bit more fickle with risk aversion and whatnot, but uh, definitely looking for some support right now here for the US yen. Let's actually zoom it in a little bit more here on the daily time frame. I'm actually going to take this blue trend line and flip it over a little bit and put it on this low and over here. So if we look at it in this fashion along that blue trend line and we're looking somewhere in the 108 to 10860 level somewhere in there as a potential right shoulder uh, of a head and shoulders pattern, inverted head and shoulders pattern. You see the support on the left, you see the potential support on the right where the current market sits right around 10860 to 35. So if it finds support, if we get positive US data, we could be looking at a reversal point here back towards the 111 level and back above 111 begins the next phase of an uptrend possibly here for the US yen. So positive news, we'll look for this to go back up. Negative US data could break this pattern, break underneath 108.35 and continue the downward slide that we've seen over the past few days for the US yen. So very interesting there, just kind of speculating at this point, but definitely something to watch over the next few days and as we get that data today for the US. Next, moving over to the AUD USD. We had a trade going yesterday. I saw a little profit. I went ahead and closed this trade with profit prior to getting into our FOMC today, or sorry, not FOMC, uh, non farm today. I just didn't want to risk it. So I've already closed profit from the trade from yesterday. 72.45 to 65 was our sell zone yesterday in the direction of the trend pattern right now, top of the black box. Let's go ahead and zoom it in. Uh, if you were here yesterday, you'll know that we did sell it up there at 72.45 area. Uh, and again, it targeted down here towards the green zone. Let's, let's zoom it in one more time. Went down to this little green shaded area. Uh, I went ahead and closed profit. I didn't want to sit through it and wait to see what happens. So uh, if you're still in it, you know, protect the trade. Uh, hopefully you're using appropriate risk strategies. Resistance right now, 72.45 to 65. That is your resistance. Positive U.S. data will look for this to hold that resistance and potentially go back down as we've been trading it in the direction of our trend pattern down towards 71.85, 71.65. A break there, of course, continues the trend pattern and we look for it to go lower. Now, above, negative news likely sees this push above 72.65 and could even potentially change the trend pattern. So we're at a key point. That resistance, 72.45.65, underneath it, and positive news, we send this lower. Above it, negative news, we could be looking for re uh, trend reversal here for the Australian dollar. And lastly, sending on over to the NZD USD, this black box here, the large black box range, congestion, whatever you want to call it, has been significant. In fact, the resistance all the way up to 68.70, 68.40, 68.70 has been significant in history as a decision zone. You see the red circle on the left, the blue box here, the red circle here, the support here in this congestion area, and now our current resistance. So as long as it stays underneath 68.40, 68.70, we have the potential to return to the downward fall that we were in previously before the past four days. If it breaks 68.70, we likely look for this to go higher. So how does data, uh, how does the, the U.S. news today affect this currency pair? Negative U.S. data will likely see the breakout higher. We look for the break of 68.70 and the turn higher, possibly all the way back up towards the 69.50, 69.80 level, this orange shaded area as our next resistance. Now, if we get 
positive US news and it sends it lower again from the 68, 40, 70 resistance, we could be looking for it right back down into the mid to low 6700s or even lower, a challenge of the last low around 6675 could see a new low being made. So positive news sends this uh, back down out of the U.S. Uh, negative news out of the U.S. likely looks for the break, uh, final break of 6870 and a turn back higher for the New Zealand dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.